hi and welcome back to my channel so i am going to do a or attempt to do i will never say going to do because i haven't tried it yet so we'll see if it works so i'm going to use these four colors and what in polymer clay and i'm going to layer them and then i am going to use some tools and kind of uh use some stencils and see if I can uh, pull out some designs through the layers and we will see how it turns out. So I'm going to go and condition my clay and I will be right back. So I'm digging down into these layers to try to get to the, I don't want to go all the way to the bottom layer. I want to get some of that orange to show through. smooth this a little bit and then I'm going to cut it into a pendant. Alright, let me get my All right, cutter. So I think I'm going to cut it with this heart. I don't necessarily care whether I get that side right there i'm going to cut it here i'm going to get my saran wrap and i'll be back okay i'm going to put this over the top so that i get some good uh rounded edges and i just want to make sure i'm in the center here block oh, and I always forget my uh, my wax paper always forget I get so excited about doing a project and then I forget about it let me get this up off of here and onto the wax paper. Hopefully without messing it up. Because on this, uh, this glass surface, it kind of just really sticks to that clay. All right. See, I left a little bit behind, but that's okay. All right, let me clean, clean up my sides. All right. So I'm going to 
put that here because I'm going to put this onto the wax paper to do the next one. All right, so we're going to do one more. Let's see how that comes out. Let me decide. I'm going to do do the center part here. like I think that's the best tool I've got I just like thought it would come out a little bit smoother All right, let me see how this one's going to do. I'm going to do the same um, part with this one. I may go the opposite way.
They're definitely not coming out as smooth as I wish they would, but they don't look bad. All right, well, let's try to get one more out of here and we'll do do it a little different. Let's try something. I think we're only going to do half of this. Hold on. This is a little bit bigger pattern. Let's see what happens. All right, so on this one, I'm using this tool, which I think is working much better. I should have used that in the beginning, but I didn't. So that's one thing about crafting is sometimes you learn. I thought I had one of these tools that was a little bit more pointed though, which would have worked, I think, much better. But this is kind of more the effect I wanted here, which I'm getting in this one.
so that is kind of more the effect I was going for, which gives it, you, you see more of the colors. So we're gonna cut this one and maybe I'll get one more over here, which is, is better. I should have been using this tool from the very beginning and I didn't. So it's just something that you get that does come with some your polymer clays sometimes when you buy them. So this one, I think I'm going to use a different uh, cutter for this one. Too big. I think I'm going to use this one, even though it might may not catch the whole thing, but it's going to get the the biggest part of it. to get one more right here in this area where I haven't dug into anything and with this one I'm gonna do I think I'll go back to that first one and do this again Let's see what happens with this tool. I think for these little ones, so I'm still going to have to go back to this. All right, that looks a little bit better. Still not 100% what I was going for, but I'm gonna cut this one. And I'll go back to the, to the heart on this one. I think I did one right side up, I'll do one this way. Okay guys, so I got four. And then we're gonna bake these on 275 
for probably like, they're pretty thick, so I'm gonna do 45 minutes. And then I will come back, show you what they look like after they're baked. And then I'm going to probably finish them off with some uh, UV resin and put some carriers on them and make some necklaces. So we will be back. Okay, so they're out of the oven. I'm gonna sand a little bit around these edges. You can see a little here where it needs to be sanded down. And then I will, I'm going to finish them off with resin. These bells are the ones I'm going to use. And I will attach those with the resin on the back side. And I will come back with the fin finished product. Okay, guys, so I'm going to, um, this is the resin that I use for almost everything. The UV resin, not uh the one not if you're mixing up big things i don't use this but this is probably the best that i've found that dries hard and seals good with a uv light and i do usually about 60 seconds three times three to four times and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do one right quick and then I'll do the rest off camera because it, it's kind of Okay, tough. guys, here is the finished product. They didn't turn out bad. I actually have to say they're kind of cute. I put these on um, cord necklaces. So I didn't put them on chains. That one kind of looks like a face, that heart. <laughs> Oh, but they turned out actually kind of cute, so they possibly could end up on my Etsy shop because they're kind of a uh, rustic kind of look, I think. I will try this technique again. It didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted. I think I didn't have the right tools. If you did enjoy this video, if you could give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you hit that little red bell, it will alert you when I upload the next video. Have a great day.